So this week, yesterday, actually, when we got the new BR program, that will be the show 21. We got this update in the main menu here. The new collection. We are getting a new collection to complete on Friday, May 28th, and will be the show 21. We got a hint on Twitter in case you didn't miss that about who it could be. Honestly, I don't know how to take this hint. I don't really know exactly who we're going to get, but chances are it is going to be a player or a few players that we're going to be able to obtain by collecting flashbacks and legends in Diamond Dynasty. Today, I'm going to give you guys some preparation tips. Hopefully, you are watching this the day before the program comes out or Wednesday night when I upload this. And we're going to try to make some preparations to get this done in the most efficient and cost-efficient way possible. Give you guys some tips on how this thing usually works each year. And finally, maybe give you an opportunity to make some stubs if you are smart and trying to make some investments. Let's get into it. YouTube, what is going on? We are back with another video. In case you are brand new and do not know me, my name is Scan and I upload nearly daily MLB The Show tip videos to help you know my spent players, help you guys who are new to the game to get better, and things like that. So if you are trying to get better at MLB The Show 21, hit that subscribe button, support the channel. We're on our way to 6K subs. But just in general, feel free to check the channel to see if there are any other videos that apply to you whenever you're done watching this. Also, I do stream every day on Twitch. We you alternate between 11 a.m. Eastern and 1 p.m. Eastern. But if you want to come hang out with us, I will be talking about this collection on stream. I can answer any questions you may have in regards to that. And we will be talking about all this throughout the week leading up to Friday. So if you have any questions, come by, come hang out with us, watch me play BR or ranked, whatever I'm playing for today. And it's a good time over there. But without further ado, we're going to talk about our collections and let's talk about how we can prepare for Friday. First thing, let's kind of summarize how the Legend and Flashback collection works. They've been doing this for three years now. This is the third year they have done this kind of collection in the game. It started off in MLB The Show 19. We got a 99 Honus Wagner. Last year, we got a 99 Mike Trout, which is honestly the best card in the game. And this year, we don't know who the player is as of today. We don't even know if it's going to be just one player. It could even be a bunch of players. But I'm theorizing and since they are doing this one month into the game, this is normally something that happens later on in the year. They plan on progressively adding to this throughout the rest of the year. So this will be something valuable probably to keep up with throughout the year. And you'll be able to build up your collection of cards gradually throughout the year. This kind of stuff will apply every time, I guess, if they add stuff to the collections. I will make future videos on that down the road, but in case you happen to be watching this in the future, this stuff should still in general apply to if they can expand on this throughout the year. So let's just talk about how the collection works. Usually, the concept of the collection is you have a whole bunch of series of cards under your Legends and Flashbacks. You see we have different series. We have our 42, Prospects, Future Stars, Milestone, all the different series of cards in the game. And how it worked last year is when you collected a certain amount of that series, you got a voucher you could use. And when you got a certain amount of those vouchers to collect for a 99 Trout, you actually got access to them, were able to put them on your team. So chances are it'll be something similar. There'll be a collection of card types. If you collect that certain amount that they drop or add tomorrow, that means that you'll probably get some voucher or some credit to collecting the big card or one of the big cards that you do multiple. And you'll be able to gradually build up your collections over time and get those voucher things to collect the big name card. Me, I'm already preparing to try to get this done as soon as possible because, you know, I'm a content creator. I'm trying to get hold of the card ASAP. But in general, there are a few rules of thumb that will help you guys in getting this done without costing the most stubs or just in general without wasting the most time as possible. So there are a few key things. The, the cheap players in each collection, like your bronze, silver, gold players, are going to be the ones you're going to want to target. They're going to cost the least amount. They're going to be the easiest to obtain. And you want to try to target these cards first because they won't be taking that much out of your pocket. All these cards are earned in different variations of the game through daily moments, through completing inning programs, the BR program. But if you guys have a bunch of stubs, I recommend buying any of the bronze players you don't have. The bronze and as many silver players try to buy these flashbacks and legends as quickly as possible. Not your live series, guys. These flashbacks and legends that apply to each of these programs. You see, I have a lot of these guys already. I'm trying to hold on to them so I could either keep them for myself when this drops or if I have extra, sell them in case they go up in price, which we'll talk about here soon. 
So if you're watching this before Friday, buy those bronzes as soon as possible. They're only going for a couple hundred subs. They may blow up a lot, especially the first inning bronze and silvers when this drops. Buy them right now. The golds, some of them you earn through the program, through collecting live series players. Any player you can buy, you may want to target. So for example, in our BR program here, this is a great way to get these cards. If you complete the BR program over the span of 26 days, you see they add in these gold and silver packs the access to the older players that were in the program. So one thing you can do is go through this program kind of like I'm doing now and pick up all those gold and silvers just by playing the program. 12 gold players you could use, I think 12 silvers. That's a lot of players you could add to this collection just by playing this BR program. Plus, you know, the free packs, the Reggie Jackson and the choice pack at the end, if you get this done, which have very good players. So if you need some players, you're going to want to target BR as your mode out of one of your three online modes for sure. Events aren't bad. Ranked maybe isn't too bad, but BR is going to give you that most quantity of players for the collection. Also, if you're doing your live series Shipper Jones collections, if you're close to getting this done, make sure you focus on getting this done even after Friday. As you see, you get a lot of these variations of cards by collecting the live series players. So if you're close to teams, close to getting Chipper Jones, whatever your pace is, make sure you get this done first. It'd probably be more productive to do since you could also work towards one of the best cards in the game, Chipper Jones and Soriano and David Ortiz. And in case you do want to know how to get this card, no money spent, how I got all this done, make sure you check out my YouTube video, it'll be linked up there. It should be a helpful source in getting this done. But basically, we're going to want to try to buy as many of these players as possible. And as you see, I got that mix of also players from the live series collections, the inning programs, and things like that. I, I tried to buy these guys yesterday. So just in general, you can go at this your own pace. But the more you can buy before this drops, the better because they will probably blow up after the program drops and people are finally just panic buying and realizing how good the card is and then they'll spend all their subs on them. So buy as many of those cards as possible. If this is anything like last year as well, you won't need every single collection. So we're going to be getting Team Affinity 2. So there's a chance like this collection, the prospect collection may not be required, but a lot of the other collections may be up to grabs. You may have different avenues and options of which collections you could go for and pass on. So for example, we had 18 or whatever number of collections last year, and you only needed like say 15, just for example, I don't remember the numbers. So like you could pick and choose expensive collections if you don't have them done, you could pass on them. But if you have things like this done, it'll probably help you with your progress. Finally, once the program drops and we find out who the reward is, like I said, we're getting Team Affinity too. Team Affinity 2 has a lot of these cards, second half heroes, milestones. There is a fair mix of these types of cards that you can get through Team Affinity. So if you are trying to get some done, you're going to want to tackle your Team Affinity 2 when that drops and try to get whatever you can out of that. Maybe target players first that will help you with your collection. Now, now that we talked about what I'm doing to prepare and things that I'm trying to keep note of before the collection drops. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of an investment opportunity for you guys who have some extra subs and maybe wanna make some profit. We mentioned those BR players, those players that you should just buy right away. And the reason that I'm recommending you buy them right now, because even right now, while people are preparing, they are relatively cheap. But when they do release this program on Friday, if these cards are really necessary, people are gonna flood the market trying to buy them as soon as possible. Right now, they're going for like two to the 5,000 Lottie Silver and Gold BR players. But these guys, your inning program guys, like your bronzes, like El Duque, and these guys, maybe guys you wanna stack up on before this comes out because you could buy a ton of them so when people need to buy them you could sell them to them at that higher price they will be going up i promise you a lot of people will be trying to buy these cards when these collections drop if you have extras hold on to them or maybe even buy some extra on the market make that investment and sell them after the program drops for the collection and you'll see that you can make some great subs off that i'm actually going to plan to dedicate some subs to some investments 
and prepare for that so I can make a good profit on Friday. And make sure you are doing your lower overall, guys. They may require a little much for these collections, but definitely get whatever you can in terms of the, the bronze, silver, golds. Those will probably be the big ones people target. We don't know how much each collection will require. So we don't know if people are going to try to buy the diamonds or not. But it may be worth noting that you should prioritize on those guys. And if you really happen to need the golds and the diamonds, then maybe you want to buy them as soon as possible right after this drops and wait a little bit over time. Because especially with headliner cards that won't be added in stock over time, guys like our Eddie Matthews, guys like our space pack, like Joey Votto, like if these guys aren't being added to the market in packs through headliners, the space packs, things like that, you may want to try to buy them right away if the number is big for the collection because they will go up a little bit over time since those packs aren't available and they aren't being added back to the market. And try to sell those in the first day or two if possible because that will probably be the best time to be, just be safe and capitalize. You never know when they'll drop extra packs and other things free in the game. That could take away from your profit and things like that. So if you are planning to invest, I would recommend picking up guys and selling them that first day or two. Try to make as much profit as possible off the rip and off the hype of the new player. The final point. Why I'm making this final point. I think it's going to be easier. I think that if they're releasing it this soon, they have to plan to be doing multiple parts. And at the end of the day, you go at your own pace. If you are stuck behind, if you're low on stubs, if you're a new player who's trying to get it done, chip at it at your own pace. Try to do the live series Shipper Jones collection. Those will add to this, but also there'll be like player programs and things that will add to this and make it a lot more doable throughout the year, especially if they plan on adding more cards. I have a few videos on the channel showing you guys how I make my stubs, a few videos showing how I got the Chipper Jones. But just in general, I'll be making some more videos like this trying to Hope you guys financially before the stuff drops to kind of give you some preparation. That'll be it. Drop down in the comments who you guys think we're going to get. I have no idea who we're going to get. We'll find out on Friday during that SDS stream at 2.30 Eastern. But I appreciate you all watching. You all have a great rest of your day. I'll see you on the next one. Deuces.